G'day guys, welcome to another video. Very excited to share with you uh, a new little uh, combination I've been using recently and figured out for kind of um, travel videography, uh, minimalist videography, like a setup that's really small, really light, uh, but has a lot of versatility and can get you some really amazing 10-bit video. So stay tuned and check out what the ultimate accessory for your video camera is. So looking at the thumbnail, you might have guessed what I'm going to talk about in the first part of this video, and that is the idea of using your smartphone as a monitor. Now this isn't a new concept. There's probably hundreds if not thousands of videos on YouTube talking about how you can do that. Uh, it's really good if you have an Android device uh, that allows you to use a HDMI capture card uh, which runs into your phone um, and then you can plug your HDMI cord into that and then that can give you a live view in uh, a whole bunch of different apps that you can use that um, essentially allow, allows you to use your phone as a monitor. And this is really cool because in our pockets at all times essentially we have a very very expensive uh, video monitor for our phones and so uh, if you have an Android device this is um, an amazing little feature that you can use uh, it means that all you need to bring with you really is that HDMI capture card and the uh, USB OTG cable uh, going into your phone and you have a pretty amazing pretty bright depending on your Android device screen that you can use to monitor your video now uh, I tested this theory out with the Canon EOS M, which is kind of uh, a camera that's near and dear to my heart. It's a it's a 10 year old or even 12 year old camera from Canon. It was the first mirrorless camera ever, and uh, it it actually shoots raw video. If you don't know what that means, look it up. There's plenty of other videos on my channel and other people's channels that talk about that. But essentially, this 12 year old camera that costs around a couple of hundred dollars is capable of shooting. Uh, such quality video that you would think it was shot on a $10,000 camera. So there are some limitations as with all good hacks in the world, but uh, this video isn't about that. What it is about is how you can use this um, phone as a camera monitor for this tiny little camera that has a terrible screen. And so as you can see here uh, from some of the B-roll, uh, there's the setup is pretty ugly, if I'm being honest. Uh, this was more of like a prototype and I'm going to clean it up. I've got some parts coming off Amazon which is gonna clean up the whole setup. But this was more like a proof of concept. Uh, I particularly like the sports tape holding the whole thing together. Um, but the really great thing about this is that it allows you to monitor um, on a much bigger screen with much better clarity uh, the video that you're shooting. Now it doesn't work on all modes with the Canon EOS M. Uh, I'm yet to kind of go through and figure all of that out. Uh, I know that the 5K um, anamorphic mode works really well um, and I think the 1080 uh, standard frame rate mode can work well as well. It's a shame I really like shooting 1080 40 frames a second and I'm yet to figure out how to make that mode work with the phone as a monitor. So that is the first part of this ultimate accessory. It's about putting your phone on top of your camera, not just the Canon Canon EOS M, any camera that you own, because I believe the benefits of this will transfer to any camera that you have. Now, the second part to this is that I have recently started using an app for my smartphone to record video, which records incredible video quality. It shoots 10-bit, okay, it shoots 4K up to 50 frames a second. Those are stats that you would have to pay at least a couple of thousand dollars to get in a mirrorless DSLR camera, and this is all happening on a $300 smartphone, the LG V60. If you are interested in that and what's going on in that space, you can check out an older video of mine uh, that's talking about that. But the benefit of using this uh, device, the LG V60 or any other Android device as a monitor on your phone is that you can actually use this app, MC Pro 24 FPS, okay, as a video camera as well. Now you might be thinking, if you've got an expensive DSLR in your hand, why would you be wanting to shoot video on your smartphone? That doesn't make any sense. And you're, and you're right, but hear me out. So my whole concept with this is that um, I don't like using zoom lenses because it's just the worst of all worlds, okay? You've got very high apertures which are leading to bad low light and to poor separation or depth of field, okay? And then typically you've got a whole bunch of other image um, trade-offs that you're uh, dealing with because you want that zoom range. Now, if you could put a portrait lens on your camera at all times to capture the subjects that you're capturing and then be able to get a wide shot with your phone, that might be a combination that works. Now you might be thinking, hold on, 
it's still not going to be as good a quality on the phone as you can get on the body. And that may be true, but from some of my tests, you'll see that it's actually very comparable. And in terms of if you're looking for a setup um, of a phone and a camera that is light, that is easy, um, that is you know very minimalistic and small, this could be the setup for you. I'm going to start doing this on my travel trips uh, and on my kind of low key, not pro shoots um, because I think that there is such a benefit here. So the whole premise of this is that you've got your camera with a portrait lens on there, which is a low F stop, giving you good separation, giving you good depth of field and good low light. Then on top of the camera, you've got your Android phone acting as a monitor, okay, for the portrait lens that's on the body. And this is giving you um, a better screen viewing angle, this is giving you more brightness, this is giving you more clarity for focusing. Then what you're actually doing is you're utilizing the wide and the ultra wide cameras on your phone, shooting in 10 bit in this uh, app called MC Pro 24 FPS. And this is actually giving you um, very good clear wide and ultra wide shots. Now, the reason why I say to do wide and ultra wide shots and use it like this way instead of using it the other way, phone cameras are actually designed to be have their best sensors at wide and ultra wide. And so essentially, you're getting the benefit of two devices combining them to shoot um, any particular scene that you're going to. For example, you'll see in the video that we went to a car festival, and I thought this is a great chance to kind of see some old cars, but test out this theory as well. And so what I was doing is I was capturing wide and ultra wide shots with my camera, but then punching in using the portrait lens Canon EOS M to get those more closer detail shots that are actually more cinematic and, and, and kind of great. And the really good benefit about shooting these wide shots on your phone is that oftentimes when you're getting these ultra wide shots on your expensive DSLR, you're not really getting good depth of field because it's wide, you, you're getting a landscape in a scene. And so the fact that we have a very reduced depth of field on the phone isn't actually a con anymore because it's very similar to the look that you get out of shooting a wide shot on your expensive DSLR. So that's a really good uh, benefit of this whole setup of using your phone as a monitor and then actually shooting your wide and your ultra wide shots on your phone in 10 bit using MC Pro 24 FPS. Now the really crazy thing here is that from my tests and you can see here is that the phone was actually outputting better dynamic range than the Canon EOS M or the camera that I was using. Now granted the Cam Canon EOS M doesn't have amazing dynamic range but it is shooting raw and so it does have a lot of flexibility. But the smartphone, because of the computational HDR effect that it gives, it's actually giving you better dynamic range on these wide and ultra wide shots, which is a really good benefit of this whole system. The other awesome thing is that because the phone is shooting 10 bit, you can actually pretty easily match these two clips together. So that it's actually looking like it was shot on one camera with a bunch of different lenses, an ultra wide, a wide, and then a zoom or a tele zoom or a portrait lens. The other really cool thing is that when you're shooting on the ultra wide lens on your camera, it's a giving you essentially a gimbal like shot because it's so wide, um, you can get pretty, uh, pretty steady, pretty uh, fast moving uh, shots on your phone, which is awesome because the whole setup is light, the whole rig is light, you don't need to bring any stabilizers or anything like that. And you're really utilizing the strengths of the smartphone's cameras and its features and not trying to get it to do anything that it shouldn't be doing because it's a limitation of that camera. So hopefully I've explained that well. To summarize, if you're still not quite understanding, the whole idea is that you're taking your smartphone, your Android device, and you're putting it on the top of your camera to use as a monitor when you're out shooting. Now, what you can also do is use MC Pro 24 FPS if you have a 10-bit enabled phone to shoot 10-bit enabled uh, wides and ultra wide shots of the scenes that you're at. So you might use your phone as an establishing shot, okay, for an, a wide or an ultra wide. You might use your phone uh, as a close up with the ultra wide to get a unique perspective. But then you're punching in with the portrait lens on your DSLR to get really, uh, I guess, really crispy looking cinematic shots uh, that you're never gonna get on your phone. So you're combining the best of both worlds and you're getting an ultimate travel minimalistic package. So. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. Hopefully that made sense to you. If you have any questions about the rig or how to set it up, please put it in the comments below. I'm really excited about this kind of new accessory or this new way of using my phone and my camera together. And hopefully uh, you can get out and start shooting with this combo soon and look forward to seeing any uh, stuff that you produce. Uh, link it to me in the comments or anything like that. But other than that, have a great day and we'll catch you in the next one.